Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Let me present you the main results of the study on the topic Integrating Business Simulation Software into Learning Environment of Technical University. Authors of the article are Dmitro Antonyuk, Tatiana Vakaluk, Viktor Yvdepkimov, Andriy Morozov, and Valery Kansudaiva. The concept of active learning has been widely discussed since its substantial introduction and description in the last decades of the 20th century. Research uh, results conclude a significant positive influence of the active learning approaches to the educational results. Among modern ICTs in the field of economics, scientists are distinguishing business simulators. Using business simulators to enrich classes on the uh, classic and behavioral economy, finance is an example of active learning. Business simulation software is, providing, is providing significant possibilities to implement active learning approaches in studying economy to the classrooms of schools, higher education of establishments, and corporate learning environments. There is a need in developing approaches and ways to introduce and integrate business simulation software into educational environments of technical university. Business simulation software might be used as a mean for formation of economic competence of the students. Finance literacy in high school is being developed more efficiently and with better involvements of the students. Business simulations themselves are valuable tool to, uh, tools to uh, let students in, immerse and in the uh, experience otherwise impossible, in expensive or dangerous to have. Technical universities with computer science, information technologies, mathematical modeling or software engineering and alike specialties available may benefit from integrating of business simulations uh, software development into their educational activities. Business simulators will be understood as a software of business simulations in, the study, in this study. Recently, scientists around the world are paying more and more attention to the educational environments and educational resources. The options of integrating business simulation into Technological ICT setup of modern learning, uh, learning environment are being analyzed in this study. The purpose of the work is to analyze, classify, and, and generalize the approaches to, to the integration of business simulation uh, into the uh, technical, educa technical education environment and educational activities. Uh, mentioning educational institution, we mean, uh, we mean university, college, school, training center, corporate training facilities. Mentioning ex uh, external provider, we mean either company or a private person, de uh, developer of the business simulation, or publisher or providing a wide range of business simulators and or educational materials of other types. This work will be dedicated to the several web-based simulations. Majority of the modern business simulations uh, and complexes of business simulations are built using uh, this approach. The user interface in case of web-based simulation and complex simulations might be implemented as web page, native application uh, for uh, uh, some mobile platform adaptive web page, allowing also uh, showing it on a mobile device or the combination of all uh, above, mentions option, above mentioned options. Business simulations follow general patterns of usage and integration of the other types of educational content. We may observe a higher level of similarity in the ways to create, host, and use between business simulations and tests, being close to each other in the use case scenarios. Business simulations have several specific differences. They don't have standardized formats of, of presentation and interaction with the system, like the type of question in, in the tests. Might have complex logic of integration with the user. Uh, uh, some algorithmic conditional logic might be presented in adaptive tests, but it usually will be more consequent. Might incorporate interaction with other users working with the same simulation are uh, following developments in mathematics, economics, game theory, etc. The concept of different nature from uh, other areas of science is being implemented in business simulation quite widely. Fo following currently accepted by default trend in software development organization, um, business simulation developers usually start from the creation, uh, creating of si a single sim uh, simulation as minimum viable product. Test it with this target audience, teachers and students, correct the product and ex uh, expand the offering, adding other simulations on enhancing the present one. 
So initially, business simulation is a simple server-based uh, server application that might be installed on the servers of educational establishment or on the server of simulation provider. We can uh, we call it standalone setup. The business simulation might be used as a uh, real SaaS offering, uh, where instances of simulation environment for each game class are being created automatically. A simpler option of the producer that just starts to test hypothesis might be the use as uh, be used as semi SaaS, where simulation environments are being manually created for each game or for each class. The same approach uh, uh, to hosting of business simulation is usually being used when it's being created by some educator, teacher, professor, or lecturer, sometimes in collaboration with the students of, for a particular class or topic. After business simulation provided its uh, usefulness and profitability, the set of simulations is being developed using the same platform. Simulations are being used by the wider audience on the infrastructure of a producer or educational establishment that defines the need in simulations and the user, both educators and student management funct functionality. It requires integration either into technical learning environment of educational institution or external provider. The uh, same complex of business simulation might have the functionality to be integrated into technical learning environment of either party. The other approach might be used by established education uh, materials creating com companies and publishers who may order to create separate simulation as an addendum or enhancement to the uh, available book, course or material set. This is a case when business simulation usually appears in the category of business simulation integrated into the learning environment of external provider from the time of creation. Uh, the next level of integration is double integrated business simulation. We call business simulation double integrated when simulations management and user management are integrated with the technical learning environment of the external provider and learning in institution simultaneously. In this case, complex of business simulations of single business simulation is hosted on the physical infrastructure of the external provider. Might be server, private, public or hybrid cloud, but also is integrated in so it's authentication, authorization, uh, the other systems, and at the same time is integrated to some systems of uh, technical educational environment of an educational establishment. This type of integration enables producer uh, or external provider to enhance and update software continuously and provide the educational establishment with qualitative service with, uh, within a reasonable time and with lower cost. Maintaining software uh, on its own infrastructure is uh, easier and more efficient for the external provider. The educational establishment uh, has the next benefits from this level of integration. Continuous updates and bug fixes of, of business simulations, absence of the need to install and maintain the software of its technical educational infrastructure, uh, integration without identification, authorization, learning management, system information and other types of the system available. Technical integration of the business simulation into educational environment of modern educational establishment need to be defined uh, need to be defined by the goal of this institution and its educators. The familiarity of the educators with the using business simulation in the educational process in general and uh, either particular business simulation or complex to be integrated fits the educational goals of the institution, educate educators and students. Financial and technical abilities of the educational establishment is quite important uh, to, cho uh, to choose the type of integration. Types of the audience to use the business simulation, are they technically savvy, are they permanent or part-time students, etc. Another point of attention to, the, uh, to use uh, business simulation is the eff uh, efficient and effective logical integration of the business simulation into the educational process. Approaches to, the logical, uh, to logically integrate business simulations in the educational process are presented in the slide. An important question to address from the author's personal experience and analyze sources is the preparation process for using business simulation in the class. Dif uh, different logical and technological integration approaches might require the preliminary setup of the business simulation by the teacher or lecturer. An additional hurdle uh, is the registration of the students in the simulation. 
These points need to be carefully addressed within, uh, within the preparatory phase of business simulation usage to make it efficient and effective within the educational process. As a result of the study, the, the approaches to integrating business simulation, uh, simulation software into learning environment of technical university were presented. The study uh, describes technological setup of uh, uh, learning environment of the technical university using business simulator software complexes in the classroom and for scientific research. Business simulations software might be used as standalone applications on the side of institution, uh, institution or in the infrastructure of solution vendor. They might be integrated either into the uh, technological environment of educational establishment or vendor. In the highest level of uh, integration is double integration into both infrastructure of institution and vendor. Logical integration of the business simulation um, into the educational process was shortly named and described. It needs to be taken into account while prepared for using it. Significance of the preparatory phase before using business simulation, uh, simulations was studied and highlighted. Simplification of the business uh, simulation usage for shortly easy to use simulations and double integrated solution need to be further studied, idealized and developed. Thank you for your attention.